By the end of this episode, we are going to know if we have a champion that is still with a brand or if they leave us. It's scary times. It's time for our episode two of GM Mode. Women only. Let's go. Hello, this is Shotzi Blackheart and welcome to Gimme a Whole Yeah. I hope everyone checking this out in Yorkshire and beyond is having a great day. Shotzi always sucks me up, man, and it is time for our episode two of my GM Mode Women. Let's get straight into it and let's see if we can keep Charlotte Flair. Oh, I'll take the title off her. But I'm not fixing anything. I'm not fixing it. Right, we are on show 6 of 25. We are ranked 4. We are doing pretty poorly. Let's see if we can turn it around on the road to payback. There we go. We have not much money. Um, so we can't really buy any new show logistics, which is going to hinder our money even more. Double cost. None of this really helps us. Okay, let's have a look at booking a show. The one thing that we do have going for us right now is we have a lot of feuds in progress that are ready to be paid off at this next pay-per-view. So as long as we get no crazy cards played against us, we should be okay, right? Uh, right. Becky Lynch is going up against Tiffany Stratton, but Tiffany Stratton could do with a break. She only has 34 stamina. So instead, let's book in a Becky Lynch, not a self-promo, a call out for Tiffany Stratton. She's got promo skill five, so this should go well. She's going to call out Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany Stratton is going to have the week off. Let's see what else we've got. We've got Charlotte Flair and uh, Alexa Bliss. Obviously, Alexa Bliss unable to take the championship off her. Who is going to be going up next against the great Charlotte Flair? Is it going to be EO Sky? Is EO Sky going to have her go against Charlotte Flair? After the match against Raquel on the last pay-per-view. Oh, she's got a new perk. Ooh, what are these stars? Hang on. Something new. Learning. <laughs> Learning. What are these stars? Okay, that's new. Manage roster. What, what are these new perks? <gasps> new perk decisions? Ooh. Oh, and I make a decision based on each one. Oh man, this is this is cool. Uh, the superstar gains plus one popularity when participating in matches. That's good. Gain one power card at the start of every season while this superstar is on your roster. At the start of every season, feels like it's only going to happen once every twenty-five shows, right? So surely that's better to tech. Yeah, I mean cards are great and everything, but I mean let's let's increase popularity. Yeah, cool. Let's go, man. New perks. Oh, I feel like it's a, an RPG. Uh, Tiffany Stratton. Oh, release it. No, don't release. Don't press the wrong button, Anthony. Um, Gain one power card at the start of every season. The superstar loses less morale for being injured, losing a match, or being benched. Can someone tell me if this power card, if I'm missing something blatantly obvious about it? Because it doesn't seem that great to me. Let's see what EOS Sky can have. Um, okay, no, don't release. Why does it automatically? Don't do that either. The superstar loses two less stamina while participating in matches. The superstar gains one plus popularity, popularity when participating in matches. Do we care more about stamina or about popularity? She said 70 popularity already. I feel like two less stamina is amazing. A lot of the time, it's like like we've just seen with Tiffany Stratton. She's hurt, so like... She's not hurt, but her stamina is so low. A superstar has minus 10% chance of being injured. If we manage our stamina, we shouldn't need to worry about that. Let's do popularity. Cool. I feel like there's only going to be so many uh, decisions we get to make. So 10% chance of being injured. Superstar loses two less popularity. To me, that feels obvious. Beth. Beth. Level one. Let's go. False count anywhere. Speciality. Ambulance match speciality. I guess a four counts anywhere would be make more sense there. I don't know how many ambulance matches we're going to have. Maybe we'll have loads. Um, Christina Fury, are you like a legend all of a sudden? Oh, no, you just got a new perk. Uh, table match or Hell in a Cell? It's got to be table match, right? It's something we just throw people into table matches all the time. So let's, uh, let's put table match there. That's really cool. I've got no new perks to do. That's new, yeah? 
Okay, so uh, just showing us that we can get a couple of new ones here, but we can't afford it yet. We do have three assets, so we can afford the wrestling center, but we don't have enough money. So let's see where we are at the end of this show. Cool. So, Charlotte Flair, our champion. Are you going to go up against Eosky? Could, could Eosky be the savior? Could Eosky be the one? Is that going to do a repeat match less bonus because of the fact that they've been feuding? We need a heel specialist. Tiffany Stratton. Uh, no good. Uh, heel specialist. Blair Davenport. Yeah, you're fine. Let's have you against you. So that should be a decent match. Let's have an interference with a run-in from EO Sky. Let's have EO Sky see if she can target Charlotte Flair. Start a feud. Let's go. Okay, cool. That, that makes sense. Uh, we've got the women tag titles that needs to be built up as well. Uh, we also have Beth Spartan and Blair Davenport, who's being used. Isn't she? Hmm. Yes, she is. So maybe you could call out Blair Davenport? I feel like we need to figure out exactly what's happening with others. I feel like it's been a while since I've done this as well, so it's like... I mean, yes, I filmed an episode yesterday, but in terms of like getting back into it, a new start of a season, there's always so much stuff like going on that we need to sort out um, in terms of where people are going. And because not a lot of feuds ended in the last one. Okay, let's ha let's have that tag match. Let's have that tag match in early on. Let's get it a normal tag match. Uh, Nikki Cross and Tegan Knox, our current champions, going up against Rhea Ripley and Isla Dawn. Uh, yeah, let's just do that for now. A normal match is fine, I think. We might turn the last match into a tables match and then see what we're left with. So we've got Alexa Bliss, who needs a giant to go up against. So I suppose putting her against Raquel would make a lot of sense. Maybe we maybe we do that. Maybe we see... Ah, uh, they've not got much stamina, both of them. Okay, let's just do it and let's hope not... Let's, let's just cross our fingers, eh? Let's just cross our fingers. Um, Tiffany Stratton, we won off this week and we've got Fighters versus... Um, Beth Spartan, who I don't like. I mean, Beth Spartan's the only face we've got. Maybe we throw in a three-way here. Maybe we throw in a three-way. They're all a little bit hurt. I mean, I'd rather not have them on, but at the same time, like, I need something on the card. Oh, man. I was thinking, I, I came into this episode, like, yeah, going to be easy. All the feuds are ready to go for the next pay-per-view. Near enough. We only need a couple more. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Um, nope. <laughs> okay, that is our card. Do we want a tables match anywhere? Let's 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 throw a tables match into this. Yeah, why not? Um, what are you good at? Forty-nine and forty. So they shouldn't get injured. A submission match, a 50% rivalry level chance, but we don't necessarily want a rivalry out of these two. <laughs> um, if we got that, we'd 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 be would be screwed. Um, stamina boost. No, let's just have it as a normal. And I tell you what, let's because that is probably going to be a better match with the rivalry being higher. Let's put that as a main event. Okay, cool. I think we're there. I think we're there. I think we'll see what happens. That's going to be hard for you to get ready for the next pay-per-view with them being so low on stamina. Okay, let's just check the power card, see if there's anything we want. XP, uh, select a superstar on your roster to immediately gain 15 ring XP. That's good when we want to upgrade people. Um, and don't forget, we do have that that will allow us power store cards uh, free and grab two copies when purchased this week. Um, but we, we're going to have a look at that for when we've got like some amazing cards up there. Okay. I think we're going to confirm that booking. I'm just going to check the emails really quickly. Do not book your most popular available bruiser. I feel like we've had a, a very difficult time booking this show. So I don't think that's going to be able to happen. Let's confirm the booking and see what happens. It's only costing us 10 grand. So, right, we want the, the rivalry here between EO Sky and Charlotte Flair. Blair Davenport beat the, beat the um, champion. And it has started a new rivalry between Sky and Flair. Wow. Costing her the match. Costing the champion the match. Uh, the rivalry has grown. That's perfect. Uh, Alexa Bliss versus Raquel Rodriguez. Let's go. It's a uh, normal versus match. And it's a cruiser versus a giant. We want a feud out of this. 
Alexa Bliss getting the win and a new rivalry. Perfect. Best part on Christina Fury, Chelsea Green. We put this on the card just as an extra match. I feel this is going to be the lowest rated on the card. Yes, one star match, but there we go. Bringing our hole down. Um, this should be a decent match. Hopefully we get up to level four rivalry as well. That'd be nice and easy in the first week. And it is a level four rivalry. There we go. Oh, now do I remember if rivalries pay off at the pay-per-views or not? Cool. So we've got a level four rivalry with the tag team. That's good. Um, we can certainly work with that. Uh, let's simulate all of these shows. I will show you the results as normal. Um, <coughs> okay, not a terrible first 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 start. We got a couple of things that we wanted. In terms of how we did compared to the other shows, the mid card really, really hurt us down. Um, that... That match really let us down, like a one-star match. But everything else was mm, mid. I mean, it was fine. I feel like we need to get better. Guys, if you've got any advice, do write it in the comments. And if you are watching this series, if you have watched this episode and the next one, do us a, do us a solid, man. Do us a solid. Just head down to the, uh, to, the, to the bottom of the video and just hit that like button. Just check you've hit it. Gets it out to more people, and uh, and I'll continue making these. We'll do a video every every day I can this week. <laughs> I'm filming this like an hour or two before it's going out because I've been real busy today. But we will do what we can. Okay, uh, fans change thirty nine thousand plus and sixty thousand, so that's good. I mean, we've not had that for a while. We've not had like a decent show where that's a decent fans, really nice profit loss compared to what we've had previously. Let's see how they're doing. So fourteen sixty. So, yeah, I mean, we made more money than WCW. They made more fans, and that's where they're all pulling away from us. ECW did about the same as us, but made more fans. And NXT, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Basically, they're all pulling away. Add four weeks to a contract's duration. Wow. Completing the seasonal challenge, blood, sweat, and tears. Bonus. Uh, select a Super Tony Rossi to immediately gain 30 ring XP. That is uh, a lot of XP. Uh, they're pulling away from us further. But that's okay. We've got three weeks until payback, and uh, and then we're going to go. We've got loads of emails. Uh, the man has arrived. I've been putting a lot of work in, and I think I've earned a shot at the SmackDown Women's Championship. I'm the man. How about it? Careful of just pressing X. You're right, Becky. You'll get your shot within three weeks. Let's give Becky Lynch the ch chance to have a championship match. Great, looking forward to it. No one can touch me, says Becky Lynch. Nice. We've just bought a new physical trainer on the staff. He's worked with a ton of major sports brands. Cutting edge stuff. We can loan him to your brand to help train some of your superstars to help them recharge and recover most of their stamina. That's not bad. They will have to sit out a show, though. You can have him long enough to train Raquel and Alexa. So Raquel and Alexa get the stamina back. I'd also be willing to bend the rules and lend him to you to train just one of those two for free. Your call. Uh, do we want to spend 30k? Um, I'd, I'd view, oh, we can view the roster from this page. So that, that it actually makes sense. What the hell? Oh, both of them are low. Both of them are very low on stamina. 37 and 29. And we had a feud going with them. Mate, 30k? Saves us a card, or two cards, 30k to... I don't know how much stamina it's going to gonna have him train up, but yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's go. I'll let the people up top know you'll be taking them. Thank you so much, Trips. Uh, Blair Damport, what do you want? Hey, Deville, you've seen the work I've been putting in, but I know I can do more for the brand. I'm ready to run a main event match, and I know the fans will be excited for it. This would mean a lot for me and my career. What do you say? Sounds good. Cool. We'll make it happen. Oh, this week. Calm down. <laughs> Blair Davenport, main event match. You want you wanted it. You asked for it. You got it. Blair Davenport, main event match against Beth Spartan. That is the rivalry. It's a level three rivalry. Okay. Okay. Uh, stamina's not great. Stamina cost extreme, quality boost maximum, ring XP gain high. Have it as a big false count anywhere match. Big false count anywhere match right there. Um, you know, I think I'm going to do it. I mean, it's costing me a lot of stamina, but that should build it up to level four. It should be ready to go by the pay-per-view again. And we'll figure it out, right? If she's having a main event match, I want it to be a solid match. 
that feels like the best way to get a solid match. Or we put in like a four way and put other people in. But right now, it feels like there's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, so um, stamina 44, stamina 60. She did want a title match, though. She did want a title match. Stratton is there. Uh, let's have Charlotte Flair come in. Let's have it for the Women's Championship. This this might end up saving us. This might end up saving us. I'm not doing this intentionally. This just makes sense in terms of what we've got. You're not running in on Becky Lynch. In terms of trying to build up the feud with EO Sky, that makes sense. In terms of Becky Lynch wanting a championship match, that makes sense. As an opener, it makes sense in terms of a Blair Davenport wants a main event. So I feel like I'm not doing this to cheat the title off Charlotte Flair. If Charlotte Flair wins the title, great. If she doesn't, great. <laughs> Does that make sense? Cool, let's have a look at managed roster because we've got another star that I didn't notice. That must mean we have someone ready to upgrade. No? No, I can't I can't see any of that. Oh yes, new pet for Beth Spartan. Who is in a main event match this week? So uh don't release. Don't release. Don't release. Has the game just crashed? I feel like the game has just crashed. Okay, back in a second. Okay, so it turns out the game hasn't crashed at all. I just hadn't pressed X or something. So whatever, let's let's move on and let's find out what happened. Interesting. I, do, I just wanted to show that so that we know that it didn't crash. Uh, the Superstar loses two less stamina when participating in matches. Uh, the Superstar loses less morale. Yeah, let's not let's not get them injured. Let's uh, let's do that. There we go. So let's uh, lose less stamina. This is, you know, yeah, makes sense to me. Uh, do we want to use any talent scouts? I mean, I don't mind the talent scouts. The 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 issue I kind of have with ta talent scout scouts at the minute is the search cost. So while I sort of want to every week sort of do this and throw in a female there, oh wrong one, throw in a female there, and I, I mean it's ten grand, you know it's ten grand, which actually right now is a fair bit of money. We're trying to save up for the show logistics at the concert hall, so I'm like let's just let's just wait a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Um, oh that break is going to cost me loads of time in the editing process. Oh well, who cares? Uh, let's go. So now we've got our I mean, we could go with a tag match, but we've already kind of played that out. Uh, stamina is at 78. Uh, her stamina is a lot better. Could have Nikki Cross against Isle of Dawn, see how that plays out for us. With it being part of the tag feud, I feel like it uh, makes sense on there, at least. Uh, they've got more stamina than Rhea Ripley as well. Um, we need some... We, Tiffany Stratton, she's against Becky Lynch at the minute. Uh, we got Chelsea Green as well doing not a lot. We really could do with another. We we could turn we could turn her into a face fighter and have a heel bruiser. I feel like we're not doing enough with Chelsea Green. Maybe this is where we well we aren't doing enough with Chelsea Green. Um, how do I get Chelsea Green into this? I think we have a look at. We need we need that we need that new logistic. The decisions, man. Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing in waiting for this new logistic to come available, but I also feel like we really need it right now. Uh we've got a fighter and a specialist in Tegan Knox who's got a load of stamina and I suppose Christina Fury. Does Chelsea need to be her face? Is that the problem? I just need more superstars, really, don't I? Uh, triple threat, normal. Yeah, I mean, let's just let's do it and see what happens. Oh, do I need to do it? I tell you what. Let's let's remove the let's remove the match. Uh, clear, clear, clear. Uh, yeah, that's great. Ah, oh, it doesn't let me clear it. Clear match, there we go. Square on the main screen, clear to match. I'm telling you, like, uh, I have a note. Let's have a look at this class change. Swap the current class of the performer um, to the class selected as the bonus class pair to say, see the superstar details, screen for more. We can't do anything with her. Okay. 
I assume that's because she's not high enough level. Okay. Interesting to see it, though. But she definitely needs to be a face on our card, doesn't she? We're using face fighters going up against heel bruiser. She might come out of the, the tag match against uh, Rhea Ripley or something like that. Maybe she can have a match against Rhea Ripley next week. So let's do that. Let's let's roll change. Yes, let's roll change Chelsea Green. Cool. You're going to be a happy fighter. A happy fighter, not a sad fighter anymore. Rhea Ripley... Stamina's not great. Tegan Knox is there. Tegan Knox against Christina Fury is a match, but it's absolutely pointless, really. Uh, self promo, Rhea Ripley. She's got good mate skill. Let's get her out there and doing it. And then we could do with some charity, but the not charity, the uh, advertising. If I remember last time, the popularity effect was quite great. Right, great. Let's hope it doesn't. Let's hope it doesn't. Let's make some money, Tiffany. Um, there we go. Focus out anywhere as our main event. The opener right there. Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, title match. We've got part of our tag team feud happening there. And uh, and a random match. <laughs> Still can't afford the wrestling center. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Just so we can start making some more money on these shows, man. Maybe a mistake. Maybe not. We'll find out. We're going to confirm that booking there and find out what happens. Right. Is Charlotte Blair going into the match as our champion again? No, Becky Lynch gets the title. The Sky and Flair, grow, Flair rivalry has grown, even though they have never had a match. And Becky Lynch takes the title in the three and a half star match. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Uh, Nikki Cross against Isla Dawn. I feel like Charlotte Flair deserves a chance at it back, though. I will say that much. Nikki Cross versus Isla Dawn. Nikki Cross gets the win in a okay match. There's a new rivalry there between Cross and Dawn. Okay, cool. I don't think that's a bad thing. Rhea Ripley gets a popularity plus one. Uh, Tegan Knox versus Christina Fury. A match that everyone wanted to see. Please don't be. One and a half at least. Hey, one and a half. And Knox and Fury have a rivalry that we're probably not going to... Probably just going to play that off as quick as we can. Um, Tiffany Stratton. Popularity minus eight, man. For ten grand. It doesn't seem worth it. Blair Davenport versus Beth Spartan. At least it feels more risk at advertising this time. Last year, it felt like you could just advertise to make money. Four-star match. We knew that would be a good match by putting it false count anywhere. Um, amazing, apparently. Great. Decent show. Better show than the week before, right? I think. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, Braun Strowman. Script. Okay. So WCW had a better opener. Again, it's that third card, every, that third match every week that would just not meeting and they all had amazing main events wcw had an amazing main event with oh Shayna baszler and dakota kai well there we go i'd love to have dakota kai maybe we can steal her in the next season okay cool um that 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 felt okay that felt okay. Um, let's move on and see what the uh, people thought. It was a uh, forty thousand plus to fans, not too bad, and sixty thousand plus to total profit loss, not too bad. Feel like we're slowly getting there for that new arena. Is it at the cost of fans though? Because they're getting sixty one thousand plus fifty thousand. Arena crowd was only two thousand again for all of these, and there theirs was only one thousand. But they must be getting more from the television ads. And because they've got more total fans. So, 129,000. They made 60,000 on that. Okay. Okay. I feel like in the next episode is where we're really going to start seeing that money tactic pay off, hopefully. Uh, not really going to see it in this episode, but hopefully. We've got two weeks to pay back. Hopefully, payback will... Oh, hey, up. Who are you? Bobby Markey. How are you doing? What's up? It's so good to finally get to talk. Bobby. Welcome. I got your number from your assistant. I hope you don't mind. I'm Bobby Marquis. You may have heard of me. No. Well, I have a pretty big deal on the internet, and I'm looking to get my foot in the door professionally. Would you have any room for you, me in your roster? You can hire me for free, 
I'm sure my followers would quickly become fans of your brand in uh, if you put me in a match. Bobby, I'm sorry, mate. I, I respect you. Uh, you know, we're just using women only. You, I don't know what you identify as, but I'm, I'm going to assume with the, with the sideburns. Um, pretty male. Sorry, no, not having it. Uh, I might be an amateur, but I've got a lot of heart, not to mention my followers. You've made a big mistake. Well, I'm sure if you're watching other people play this GM mode, they're probably going to say yes to that, because there's no reason to not say yes to that, unless you're working with the stipulation that we've put on ourselves. There we go. Becky Lynch, now, I appreciate the title shot. It's good to know I've got a boss that keeps the word. Feels great to be the champion. She is the man. I guess this makes me the face of SmackDown. I'm the man. Great working with you, boss. No one can touch me. Ah, mate, you're welcome. You're welcome. And show that Christina Fury cuts a promo this week. Mate, easy, easy. Uh, Self-promo, Christina Fury. Let's make sure that happens. And it's happening right there. Cool. Anything else? Uh, what do we get for that? Uh, select an opposing brand. Double the price of the power cards. Cool. Check the power cards quickly. See the cost of them. So, like, three of them. If we had three of them in a the thing, we use our power-up card. We make, we make value on what we're getting. Oh, that does feel pretty good anyway. Maybe we'll play that. We've got one. Maybe we'll play it at the pay-per-view. Uh, cool. So let's have a look. Uh, so she's got a feud with Isla Dawn going on, which I, I really don't hate at all. Um, a bruiser and a fighter. So a, a, a match for her to come out of this tag feud with, which is great, which is really cool how that's working. Love it. I love how clear it is as well that we can now see everything, even though I couldn't see it for the start of the first episode. Let's forget about that. We are nearly at the point where we can have a... We could have Chelsea Green go up against Rhea Ripley. I don't hate that. Um, okay, popularity 95 for Becky Lynch. Wow, Charlotte Flair had a huge drop off there. She's only got three weeks remaining on her contract, but she is upset with EO Sky. She is upset with EO Sky, so I feel like that could be our main event right now. That, oh, she's only got... She's got no stamina. Uh, okay, okay. Do we have any power cards to fix stamina yet? No. No. Okay, this is where we start getting into stamina problems. That's okay. That's okay. We'll figure it out. I feel like her and Eos Guy need to go at it, though. I uh, want Eos Guy to have the week off so you can do a call out to Eos Guy. Let's face it if Charlotte Flair is leaving, and we'll see how the mechanics work of that. It's okay if she gets hurt in that final blow-off match. It's not okay if Eo Sky gets hurt. So have her do the call-out. It should mean that Eo gets a 12 stamina boost for this match. Um, so that should be good. Uh, Tiffany Stratton and Becky Lynch going at it still. Um, what else have we got? I mean, that's that's already built up. Do we have anything else we need to build up urgently? We've got that. We've got Alexa Bliss and Raquel. Stamina 99 and 91. Are you freaking kidding me? Let's go. That was the best 30 grand we've spent on this game. Oh, just to celebrate, let's have it as a false count anywhere. Why not? One of you is good at that. Let's go. There's our... Is that going to be our opener or our main event? Might be our opener. Might be our main event. Let's see what else we've got. What else is a good match we can have? Uh, Rhea Ripley, Blair Davenport and Beth Spartan. Uh, their stamina is super low. Again, need to keep them off. Oh, mate, I've got no wrestlers. I've got no wrestlers. It's that time again. Isla Dawn, how's your stamina? Not too bad. Can we do this match again? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I think we've just found our main event. Um... <laughs> Just because they're the only ones with decent stamina. And here I am like, oh yeah, let's just blow it all. Let's just blow all the stamina. Chelsea Green not doing anything. Chelsea Green against Rhea Ripley. That's certainly something that could work in the future. Stamina at 56 and 54. I say, let's go. I say, let's go. At the at the risk of uh, of not having anything on the card. We need, to, we need to start getting stuff on the card, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Tiffany Stratton and, and Becky Lynch could definitely go on here, but I feel like we've also got it for the pay-per-view. Um, and I don't mind them having a break. Tegan Knox is the only one who's got a decent stamina. 
But I feel like we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do something, aren't we? So it's gonna have to be Tegan Knox seeing if she can get in the way of Becky Lynch and Tiffany Stratton, who are currently feuding over that title. They're in a, a big time feud. So that's probably based on the fact that that feud is part of that match. That's probably there. It's got our current champion in it. Popularity enormous. Let's go, Becky Lynch. Holding down the brand. Uh, um, but let's see what else we've got. Uh, do we want to do anything? I really want all of these healed up for the thing. So let's not. Um, Charlotte Flair is calling out Eosky. Charlotte Flair will get a boost in stamina, but Eosky will get a bigger boost. And uh, yeah. I need more wrestlers. I need more wrestlers. That's not a terrible card, right? Uh, that's a bit of a bit of a nothing match, but we could get something cool out of it for our next season. Love it, love it. Uh, let's go confirm booking. Show cost fifteen thousand, right? So the tactic of buying the arena, I suspect, is going to happen after this episode. Have we cost ourselves too much though? Has it been at too much of a detriment to get back into it for what we should see? as an increase in our in our takings each show. We're gonna have to see, man. What do you guys think? Charlotte Flair, call out Zio Sky, let's go, rivalry grows. Alexa Bliss versus Raquel Rodriguez. And Raquel gets the win there. Hey! Whoa! What? Oh, it was a false count anywhere. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. Why did I put that on there? Uh yeah, because I had like no no like, they had perfect stamina, didn't they? Becky Lynch in a great match, three and a half star match, a false count anywhere match. That's how much a, a match does increase. That was just a mistake on my part. That should have absolutely been at the start of the show. It's going to tell me uh, in a second that I did bad at booking that show. Poor finale. There we go. That's what it says. Because um, that mid card, the, the, the place where we normally do a terrible match was suddenly incredible. Everyone was expecting it to be, oh, God, here we go. Piss break match. It blew everyone out of the seats. Uh, let's have a look. There, so that's a co is their champion uh, in a decent match. Uh, and what was NXT's main event? ECW there with the women's main event. Uh, Kevin Owens versus uh, Damien Priest did a good job there. So, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue on. Let's see how much money we made from this show. 40,000 fans and 58,000 cash. We have enough. We have enough. Uh, 47 and 71,000. May the television ads, man. Television ads or something is is killing us. Okay, 45,000 and 42,000. 36 and 62,000. Right, here we go. This is where we start to... Uh, select some posing brand, double price of the power cards in the shop. Bit of a champ from using... Uh, someone using a champ in the next show. One week until payback. Triple H, what have you got for me? Yeah, okay, okay. Someone told me off. It was Triple H. Nice. Thanks, Triple H. Uh, I think you should put me in a match with Rhea. Um, that sounds like a great idea. I'll make it happen within the next three weeks. We've already done it, but we can do that after the pay-per-view as well, if need be. Uh, Tiffany Stratton, what have you got to say? Looks like Lynch has been handing me nothing but losses. Isn't there someone else on the roster you can face me up against for a change? I'll see to it. Yes, let's go. Um, Tiffany doesn't want to go up against uh, against her again. Bucky Lee's popular available star for a match this week. Tiffany, you've got your match. <laughs> let's see who our least popular star is. It's Christina. Okay. Christina and Tegan Knox are in a bit of feud. Tegan Knox has decent stamina, so does uh, Christina. So I don't, I don't mind that, actually. There we go. Um, she doesn't want to fight Becky Lynch this week. So who are you going to fight, Tiff? Who do you want to fight, Tiff? Right, we've got no way of building up Alexa Bliss and Raquel to be four stars unless we do something crazy here. They've both got good stamina, so let's go crazy, right? They had a great match on the last thing. Let's do the submission match. It's 35,000. If I put that in, I can still afford my arena at the moment. <laughs> okay. At the moment. This is getting tight. This is getting tight. If not, we'll have it for the for the next show. But I, I really want that arena, man. <laughs> I really want that arena, man. Come on, give me that arena. Let's see. What else have we got? Um, Tiffany Stratton didn't want to fight Becky Lynch this week. She's at stamina 50. Um... 
hmm, how do I do this? How do I do this? I think I know what I want for my main event now. Charlotte Flair and Tiffany Stratton. Running from here, Sky. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Tiffany Stratton running from EO Sky. Could build theirs up to four by the time of the pay-per-view. A lot of star popularity in that match as well. Now let's see what else we've got here. So we've got the Lynch, uh, Becky, the Lynch, Becky Lynch, uh, potentially taking a week off, making sure she's got decent stamina for the pay-per-view. Uh, Rhea Ripley and Isla Dawn, I definitely want to have a week off as well. Um, okay, so Chelsea Green, Blair Davenport, uh, Beth Spartan. Hmm. Maybe we do Chelsea Green and Rhea Ripley again. I mean, she did ask for it, right? That covers that. The stamina's not great, but if we just put them in a normal match there, should be okay. Show costs 37,000 because of the running. So that still leaves me with enough to get that. Just... <laughs> should we just buy it? Should we just buy it? It is costing us all of our money. Let's go. Purchase the arena uh, for 200,000 and three assets. Right, let's see if that boost is up. So we've gone from 2,000 capacity to 5,000 capacity. Our ticket price has increased from £4 to £5. The show quality should get better with every show while this is active. This is it. This is it. We're in, we've got a wrestling center. Okay. Payback arena. How much are you going to cost? Uh, we'll find out in the next next show. But that increases our capacity and our ticket price and our show quality. Okay. So, show costs 37000 Do we want some self-promos in? Nikki Cross has decent stamina still. I feel like it's okay to put Nikki Cross in there. I feel like that's, that's, that's good use of time, right? Um... Becky Lynch has okay stamina. Let's do get Becky Lynch at the chance of ruining our popularity. She's a level five promo, right? I could do with making some money. Let's get Becky Lynch out there to make a bit of money. Right? People should be excited about that. They're seeing Becky Lynch on a cricket wireless ad or something like that. Blair Damport, what are you going to do? Can we afford another promo? We can. Let's do it. Let's let's have Blair Blair Davenport see if she can boost up her popularity a bit. She's only got level two thing either. Does it matter where these are? I don't think so. Okay. Main event submission one on one. Let's see if we can boost that up to the big card teams right away. Uh oh, Charlotte Flair's gonna be her Tiffany Stratton. Getting what she's wanting. Okay, I feel like we're doing decent. We've got a load of season challenges done already, so that's good. Um this is just gonna happen as we go. It really is. Cool. We don't need to use a talent scout. Show cost 42,000. Health Spar 3 is really good. Do I want to use this now and get the Health Spar 2? Maybe we wait until we get Health Spar 3 and then we just use the power up and get double cards and we don't necessarily worry about what these are. Maybe that's what we do. I mean, hell, can you imagine if it was like Health Spar Silver, Gold and something else really cool? Man, can you imagine? 42,000, budget 43,000. Let's go. Let's see how this does. Let's see how this does. Here we go. Wanting to make some money. We've got our advertising. We've got um, we've got people going out there to in the, in the biggest arena that they've ever been in. Not a great match, but the rivalry between Sky and Flair does grow again. I don't even think them two have had a match, and yet the rivalry is at breaking point. Nikki Cross with a self-promo there. Let's go. Christina Fury versus Tegan Knox. Okay, Tegan Knox is the winner. And the rivalry grows right there. Becky Lynch coming out there. She's done an excellent promo. Made us 21 grand and lost one popularity. Thank you, Becky Lynch. You've just bought us a match on the next card. Mid-card, Chelsea Green and Rhea Ripley. This, this, I kind of want this to be a feud. Rhea Ripley, mediocre. It's not a feud again. Okay, Blair Davenport uh, increases the popularity. Good. Alexa Bliss versus Raquel. Submission one-on-one. -on -one. Is it going to go up two places? No, just one. Just one place. But that's okay. That's okay. We can we can deal with that. 
Right, let's simulate all of these shows and let's go on to book payback. Let's see if we was able to sell out this arena. We've we've cost our popularity. Uh, it was a mid, mid, mid show. Mid, mid, mid show. No injuries, which is good. But mid show, man. Really mid. Uh, main event was great again. These two, like, thrown together. I couldn't even figure out what to do with them at the start of the episode. And suddenly, like, they're carrying out brand. Okay, cool. Let's go. Right. It's time to get crazy. It's time to book payback and there's someone on the roster that needs payback and that's charlotte flair we haven't had her had her rematch against becky lynch is it crazy to put it on here probably she has no contract left but let's put it all on the line because that's what we do here right oh i didn't even check my cash I, hopefully i made a load of money I, i'll check it in a second <laughs> I, I sorry i'm so busy like you know, trying to tell a story. Uh, and select her on a superstar on your roster to immediately gain 30 XP. Cool. Gonna have a look at cards, see how they. Eric Bischoff, there. Nearly 100,000 fans. I feel like him and Paul Heyman. I feel like Paul Heyman was uh, at the start at the top, but that's fine. Cool. Let's go. Payback, week 10. Charlotte Flair, my contract will expire with SmackDown at the end of the week. I'd be interested in staying for another. Five weeks, the cost would be 110. Okay. Let's see if we can find out money from this screen. I can't see how much money I've got. Can I? Oh, yes, budget there, 114. I mean... Oh, do I have a card that extends it? Or do we go risky? Do we go all risk and do we say... No, we won't do it, just to see. But I feel like we've got so few stars on our roster, it would be really difficult if we lose Charlotte Flair. But I said, I said, let's put the risk in. Let's do the risk. <laughs> oh, what do I do? Thanks for your work, Charlotte, but I won't be renewing your contract. I'm, I'm guessing you're all watching this going, what is he going to do? Is he going to... Thanks for your work, Charlotte, but I won't be renewing your culture. This will be my final week of SmackDown. Oh, it made no sense. It made no sense. I should have just used a card, but... This is this is what it's about. It's about entertainment, right? Let's put, let's put stuff on the line. Hey, boss, I've been talking to Becky a lot lately. And she had this great idea that we should team up for a tag match. I think we'd actually make an awesome tag team. Um, can I have anything to take a chance on us and book us in a tag match in the next few weeks? Sure. Sure. Great. Can't wait to make our tag team debut. Raquel and Becky Lynch as a tag team. Not bad. Yeah, I feel like I'm the fall guy every week at the moment. Whatever my next match is, I want to win. <laughs> okay can't help you there christina sorry uh, have at least one false count anywhere match this week excellent what do we get immediately gain 10 scallant count points oh cool oh that's a new card speaking of cards we've got two health spars up there okay this is this is interesting so we kind of wanted a gold one but we don't have it we do have this. So if we use a power-up, a superstar GM raises the selected superstar's morale. So that's a good little boost if we need it. I'm going to try using one of these. I don't know exactly what it's going to do. Uh, power cards in the store will be free, and you'll be granted two copies of each card. Okay. There we go. So let's get that. Costing us zero. And it didn't say we got two, but two have gone in there. I mean, that's four health bar cards for the price of nothing. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. And right now, I feel that because our roster is so small, small, I feel like that's where we have to go. Right, you want a false count anywhere match. Let's just have a look. So our main event, let me tell you what our main event is going to be. Our main event is mental. <laughs> okay. It's a fatal four-way. <laughs> it's going to be incredible. It's Becky Lynch, the current champion. Obviously, the championship will be on the line. It's Charlotte Flair who wants to have her go at the uh, championship. She wants to take the championship away from us. 
at SmackDown, which she will do if she wins this match. We are going to watch this match as well, obviously. <laughs> uh, going up against Eosky, who her and Charlotte Flair have never had a match, but they, they're ready to rock, man. As well as Tiffany Stratton. That is a killer match. That is a killer match. That is two level four rather. I mean, that's easy, easy five star match, right? Don't even need to make it a false count anywhere or anything like that. Um, that's a five star match right there, I think. For the title. Two rivalries. Four way. Feels like the type of main event you'd have at Payback as well. <laughs> okay, and let's get our opener, which is going to be a tag team match. This isn't going to leave us with anyone. This is not going to leave us with anyone. Uh, let's have it as a tables match or something to ensure that it's uh, still decent. Uh, it's Nikki Cross and Tegan Knox going up against Rhea Ripley and Isla Dawn. Tables match. Opening match. Right, what, what else have we got? We've got six people left. So we can fill up the matches. And that's about it. Okay. So we need Blair, Davenport, and Best Spartan. So that is probably... These These have had decent matches. Blair, Davenport, and Best Spartan. Let's go. Oh, actually, no. The best matches has been uh, Alexa Bliss and Thingy, hasn't it? And Raquel, whose stamina. We got that awesome perk, and we've just, like, blown it off completely. Um, however, Raquel is good at Falls Count Anywhere matches. So let's turn that into the Falls Count Anywhere. And... Please, Triple H, yeah? Christina Fury demands that she wins her next match. I can't make that happen. This is the only match we've got on the card. It's a fighter versus... Chelsea Green just feels like she's done nothing on our roster. It's really frustrating. Show cost 15,000. Um, I don't think I want to up anything else for the sake of stamina. Don't, don't need to there. Don't need to risk that hurting us more. But that should be a good match. It's a level 4 feud paying off. Uh, this is a level 4 3 Feud paying off, but it does have a false count anywhere. Stipulation. Yeah, they're more hurt than them, so let's do that. Do we give this a stipulation just to make sure that it's not an absolute stinker? Uh, submissions match. Uh, rivalry chance. Um, tables. Brand branded PLE bonus. Okay, cool. Um, but we've got a tables match already, haven't we? So let's have it as a submission match. We've got tables. Normal. False count anywhere. Submission. Normal. Cool. Feel like we're mixing stuff up we have absolutely no one to use any promos or anything like that um we have enough money to do a scout ish right the thing is whoever we scout we're not going to be able to afford like it's going to cost too much or we can get them for five weeks psycho sally might be a decent investment there a heel bruiser all you want to do is ride around sally Come on, Sally. I mean, end of season 31k. Yeah, let's just sign her. I mean, that doesn't hurt, right? It doesn't hurt to have someone extra on the card. She can come out actually on this show and do something. Uh, Promise Girls 1. <laughs> Does it? Does it hurt us to do that? Uh. Do a charity promo from Psycho Sally. Because, I mean, that's what Psycho Sally does. With her uh, T-Rex arms. Let's go. Psycho Sally. Here for you. Here for you, Psycho Sally. Mate, why is the picture so low on the on the card? Like, when I do my own GM mode, and I'm going to put in loads of... I, I spend so much time trying to make the make them all look so it, so, so it works on, visually on the screen for you. Yeah, the makers of the game couldn't even sort that out. Nice one, guys. <laughs> Uh, 300,000 for the next one with four assets. We can afford it. I didn't even look if we'd sold out uh, the last match, but we did make a lot more money. So um, Budget is 82. Show cost is that. We've got all our power cards. Do we need anything here? Ensures that you retain most of your fans this week. Why not? Let's have it. Uh, cool. Let's see if we can really boost this up. Uh, health bar, superstar GM raises the selected superstar morale. We don't need to worry about any of that right this second. Let's just have a quick check at our roster and just check that everyone is happy. Uh, happy face. Uh, no one's super angry, so that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Christina might be at the end of the show. Cool. Uh, you want a tag match? We'll make sure that happens. 
uh, in the next episode. Oh, let's have a look at the payback extra. Oh, it's 50,000. We can't get it. Okay. 50,000 for the PLE bonus. We can't afford it. What a shame. What a shame. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe we could have afforded it if we didn't buy Psycho Sally. But I don't feel like... I. I don't feel like Psycho Sally is a terrible booking, especially that we've lost Charlotte Flair. Where is the sanity in what I just said? Let's go confirm booking. Um, let's see what happens. It's just going to be a normal match that we're watching. Let's see what happens with our tag titles, though. That I didn't put tag titles on the line. Let's forget about it. Rhea Ripley and Isla Dawn win. Okay. In a match where they didn't take the titles. Whatever. Okay, we missed. Uh, promo rating is embarrassing, but 750 people loved that embarrassing promo from Psycho Sally. Well done, lass. Uh, Blair Danpo, <laughs> Beth Spartan going at it. <laughs> Winner is Beth Spartan in a good match. Uh, three stars, though. Not as good as uh, the matches have previously been having. Oh, man, come on. Come on. False count anywhere. Ra Raquel, re 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 Raquel and Alexa Bliss. Five and a half star, a four and a half star match, rather a complete. Mate, this pay per view is not going the way I wanted it to. It's not going the way I wanted it to. A submission match, one on one. Come on, at least get us a feud or something. Winner Chelsea Green, right? The other last is going to be upset with me. It was a one and a half star match. There was no rivalry, nothing. It was just bad. It hasn't been the best card. Okay, it hasn't been the best card. But there is a chance. In this new arena, which looks a bit like NXT. I assume that's an NXT-esque arena. Um, there's no, like, arenas that have that many screens apart from NXT. Here she comes. It's Charlotte Flair. She is leaving the company. She's upset that we didn't renew her contract. And she is ready to walk away with our championship. She's going to walk away with the Women's Championship if she wins this match. What is going to happen then? What is going to happen to the brand then? That would hurt our popularity on other superstars for the sake of no gain. Charlotte Flair gets the pyros. Careful. Only a small arena. Only a small arena. I want to say a huge thank you to you all for watching this. If you are watching the matches, let me know on the format if you enjoy it. I love reading all your comments. Sean... It's lovely to see you back, brother. Thank you so much, man. Um, you knew this was coming. You knew the GM mode was coming. <laughs> and we are going to continue this. And uh, look, honestly, the more we share it, the more views it gets, the better it does on the channel, the longer this series will go on, you know. I ended the last one quite abruptly because I got so busy with life. Um, but we're not going to do that this time. Right? We're going we're gonna to carry on. We're going to make sure all the stories play out and, uh, and party. Okay? Party. I can't wait to do the uh, to do the the downloaded superstars, a hundred extra superstars added to the women's division. It's gonna be a lot of fun, man. There's some real good names to add in this year as well. Timeless Tony Storm, <laughs> uh, as well as Sean. You recommended someone on the last video. Let's have a look. If you guys want to see someone in that custom GM mode video, um, write it down below. Heidi Howitzer this year, along with most of the AEW roster. Heidi Howitzer. Is who uh, Sean wants to see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. EO Sky coming out now. First time seeing EO Sky's model. There we go. Mate, she's got more feathers than Charlotte Flair has. What is going on? Oh, yeah, I love the steak as well, by the way. <laughs> it's good. As we know that people are watching the video all the way through. <laughs> Uh, I can't think of a fun one this week. Um, maybe maybe in the comment, if you're still watching, um, at some point in the comment, uh, in relation, in a, in a way that makes sense, have fun in writing something that relates to feathers. <laughs> Don't know how you do it. Don't know how you do it. Your featherweight division is doing well, Anthony, or something like that. Let's, uh, let's see if your comment can make sense and have something to do with feathers. Mate, that's a lot of flashing, is what I'd say. I even see it flashing on my face. That's that is uh, that is potentially epilepsy warming, right? I don't know on the frequency rate of it, but that was uh, pretty much. Get your cameras Here we go. Eos Sky is out looking for a win against Charlotte Flair. Is she going to be the one 
It takes out, and wow, here we go. This is a new model, right, for Tiffany Stratton. And it's banging. Someone put the lights on her, though. We can't see her. Oh, there, there's, there's some photographs. And there we go, man. Tiffany Stratton's model looking fantastic. Walking down to the ring. Silver as her hair is silver. Nice. Oh, Tiffany Stratton, she's got a Barbie house logo. Wonder if the pain writes to Mattel. I doubt it, eh? I doubt it. There we go, coming into the ring. More photographs being taken of Tiffany Stratton. Posing. And there she is, the Barbie Tiffany Stratton in the ring. And this is a match she's been wanting. She's had enough. Here comes the man. It's the man, Becky Lynch. Are we going to have Pyro for Becky Lynch? Are we going to have the smoke behind her? And there she is. The man coming down. Showing off the championship. Showing that she wants to keep the championship in this brand. I am absolutely mad for letting go of Charlotte Flair, but I'm also here for it. <laughs> it's the type of thing I'd like watching if I was in this series, if I was watching this series. Becky Lynch with the championship. Is she going to walk away with it tonight? Is Charlotte Flair going to do a CM Punk and walk away with that championship? She can get revenge on the entire company here, right here. Charlotte Flair could cost us a lot, a hell of a lot. SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line here. It is Becky Lynch. It is EO Sky. It is Tiffany Stratton. And it is Charlotte Fourway in a devastating fatal four-way. Last episode, we saw Charlotte Flair take the championship from Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss looked like she was going to win, and she absolutely got owned. She didn't turn it around. Charlotte Flair turned it around, and... Uh, it was all bad from there. That was an Extreme Rules match, though. Weapons were be allow allowed at that point. This is just a normal Fatal 4-Way. I say just a normal Fatal 4-Way. But let's be perfectly honest with the superstars we've got in this. This is a big match. You've got your current champion in WWE, EO Sky. Not our championship. Our champion, though. That is the man, Becky Lynch. You've got Charlotte Flair, winner of 15 championships in the past, taking over nearly her father's record of 16. It will happen one day. It will be big. And we've got the newbie, Tiffany Stratton, who has had a feud with Becky Lynch in NXT. All of these women have a lot of history. As Becky Lynch with the Irish whip. Charlotte Flair able to reverse it, though. Sit down, ba flipping backbreaker from Eosky, looking for the early pin. Can Eosky get it? No, Charlotte Flair saying, I want that championship. The man, butterfly suplex, and then goes into the armbar. Becky Lynch trying to finish it early, but Charlotte Flair not ready to give up just yet. This has been a quick match to start off. Eosky looking at doing the work against Tiffany Stratton. Becky Lynch going for a break. Tiffany Stratton now with the neck breaker being delivered from Charlotte Flair. Eo Sky and Becky Lynch are just taking a break. But while that's happening, Charlotte Flair thinks she's got an opportunity to take the championship from us. She doesn't. On the back. Face buster from the back from Becky Lynch right there. As Eo Sky comes in with a weapon. I say, I say it's not an extreme rules match. Eo Sky says, don't you know the rules of wrestling? This is a four-way. There are no DQs. Looking at using that kendo stick as a standing moonsault from Tiffany Stratton. Finally coming back into the match and paying back EO for the start of this match. Becky Lynch thinks this is a good idea. Kendo sticks wailing on the former champion, Charlotte Flair. Becky Lynch getting the win. The kendo stick smashing over Charlotte Flair, leaving the remnants on the floor as Becky Lynch being sent into the ring steps. Big high knee lift from Eosky. Tiffany Stratton and her going at it in the ring. 
Your Sky going under and over and looking for to take out the legs of Tiffany Stratton and it worked here. Tiffany Stratton without the experience of the other ladies in the ring looking like she's getting her and Io Sky using that while this blood feud between Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch pays off on the outside. Can Io Sky work at the body parts to be able to submit Tiffany Stratton now dropping the knees on her. Now going for the pin with the, after the knees, going for the pin. One, Tiffany Stratton able to kick out, but she is hurt. There is no doubt in that. The two people who were least hurt in this match is Io Sky and the person who we are afraid of winning, Charlotte Flair. Looking for the chair. I say that maybe a little bit too late as Charlotte Flair now uh, being hurt. That chair certainly going against her. Io Sky coming to meet Charlotte Flair. Here we go. The rivalry that has been happening the past few weeks. These two haven't met up in the ring yet and they are going to. Charlotte Flair not happy at her costing the title. Goes to throw the kendo stick, but it misses. Just catches the corner of Io's shoulder there, but not enough. Sending Io Sky back into the ring, Charlotte Flair, with a celebration. Is she going to get the chair? No, she's going from behind on Io Sky. Trying to control her now in the ring and working with Becky Lynch. Charlotte Flair realizing that Io Sky wasn't as hurt as everyone else in this match. And the two of them working together... But not for much longer as Charlotte Flair being delivered the drop kick, low drop kick from Becky Lynch. Charlotte Flair has her finisher stored up. She's ready to go. Io Sky not looking far off. Becky Lynch being pinned. Oh no, just Io Sky getting the pin on there. I thought it looked like Charlotte Flair had Becky Lynch getting pinned. She's dragging her into the middle of the ring. She's looking for something here. But Becky Lynch, ring smarts man, rolls out the ring. Doesn't let her get her in position. Charlotte Flair has something planned with that chair. And it is an attack on EO Sky. Oh, now looking for natural selection, it looks like. But Becky Lynch coming in and saying, no, absolutely not. Be Bexploder nearly, maybe not a Bexploder, but certainly an Exploder. And now EO Sky. Reaching for the skies with Becky Lynch, putting her on the top rope. Big punch, sends her reeling. Charlotte Flair's ready to catch, though. Ready to catch. What's she going to do? Big flip. Both women hurting on the floor. Io Sky, can she? She's able to fight out. Charlotte Flair wanting to take advantage. Io Sky going to the top now. What's she going to look for? Oh, Charlotte Flair's not going to let it happen. Oh, big drop kick. Takes out the referee. Takes out Tiffany Stratton. Everyone hurt in that moment. We don't have a ref in this match at the moment. Can Charlotte Flair take advantage of that? Oh, man. Tiffany Stratton looking at showing off against Charlotte Flair. Going with the... Um, Cartwheel, but unable to connect because of Eos Sky reaching behind her. These two now, Eos Sky and Becky Lynch fighting on the outside. Eo just taunting Becky Lynch. Using the rope to their advantage, stretching the you can't win this match on the outside, though. Tiffany Stratton with a low drop kick on Charlotte Flair. Tiffany Stratton looking good at this point against Charlotte Flair. Head into the turnbuckle. Now the second turnbuckle. What is Tiffany Stratton looking for? It's a kick to Charlotte Flair's arms. Charlotte Flair finally starting to feel the pain in this match. And it's due to Tiffany Stratton. None of us expected that, man. Here she is being sent into the corner. Tiffany Stratton going up and delivering a big elbow to Charlotte Flair. Sending her down. There's been a lot of back and forth in this match and now Charlotte Flair looking at controlling Tiffany Stratton, sending her into the corner. What is she looking for right now? Forearms. Okay. Lifting a leg up on the shoulder. Tiffany Stratton is stunned. This is not a good position for her to be in. Charlotte Flair, considering that natural selection, could win with a figure four, a figure eight. And now Becky Lynch, the man coming in, saying no, stop Charlotte Flair. Enough. There we go, draping her over the top rope there. 
Big chop from Charlotte Flair. Sets her up for natural selection. This could be it. This could be it. Io Sky gets in the ring. Can she put a break to it? Yes, she can. Natural selection. Unable to pay off this time for Charlotte Flair. But Becky Lynch is hurt. She is very hurt. Ankle break there from Io Sky onto Charlotte Flair. High kick there from Becky Lynch. Big punch. I'm going behind. And there we go. Bex manhandle slam. One, two. Charlotte's tied up. Io Sky kicks out. Charlotte Flair going for the pin now. Becky Lynch kick. Oh my god. Oh my god. The manhandle slam. Unable to put out Io Sky, but it did hurt her. More than she could have thought. Here we go. Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. Both nearly with wins in this match. Now Becky Lynch looking at winning the match fair and square against Charlotte Flair. We have the manhandle slam. Is that going to be enough? Can Eosky save it? One, two. Oh, she kicks out. She kicks out again. What is going on? What is going on? This is madness. Oh, Charlotte Flair kicking out again. Becky Lynch picks up, spins around, lots in the arm bar. But Tiffany Stratton breaks it up. Oh, my word. Becky Lynch feels like she's done the work in this match. Eosky feels like she's saving for something big, though. Could Eosky use them finishers to pay off at the end of the match? Who knows? Tiffany Stratton and Eosky. Every woman here hurts. And I have no idea what's going to happen. This is great. Underhook over. Eosky reverses, though. Charlotte Fleur looking at taking advantage. Sends Becky Lynch into the rope, but instead connecting with Io Sky and Becky Lynch, slamming on the back, and then Io Sky does exactly the same to Charlotte Flair. She's got her in position. Is she going to look for a high risk manoeuvre? Looking at the suplex, able to hit it, and now Io Sky looking at going high, taking flight. Beautiful hits her finisher. Is EO Sky gonna be our champion? One, two, and another kick out from Charlotte Flair. What the actual F? And natural selection. What the actual F? What are they doing to me? Oh, and she goes for the cover. Can EO Sky get in there? EO Sky, what are you doing? She, she does it. She does it. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my goodness. Sending this head of Eosky to the back. Tiffany Stratton with a high kick on the back of Eosky's head. It just feels like the it just feels like the one Charlotte Flair to win. She's kicked out of everything, man. Becky Lynch rolling to the ropes. Eosky is hurt on the outside after hitting that finisher. Oh my god. Becky Lynch taking a bit of time. Tiffany Stratton has lifted up Charlotte Flair. Could this get the win? No, instead she goes for Becky Lynch, but Becky Lynch had it scouted. Charlotte Flair to the outside where Io Sky is getting the crowd built up, sending her into the corner. Big chop, but Io Sky is behind her and sends her back with that back X factor. High low kick, high kick. Master of kicks is Io Sky. Big spear! Charlotte Flair coming in with a big spear. Is she going to go for the pin? No, she's not. She is throwing her head to the mat. High knee from Becky Lynch. Doesn't connect as it needed to against Charlotte Flair, who's now sending Becky Lynch into the ropes. Picks her up. Slams her back. And now Io Sky resting on the ropes. Becky Lynch is hurt. It's Charlotte Flair. Back on top again in this match. Tiffany Stratton coming in, lifting up Charlotte Flair. She looks like she was going for a signature, but Charlotte Flair able to reverse it. I tell you, Charlotte Flair's going to win this match. Gets a spear, gets a spear. But Io Sky not letting her take advantage of it. Io Sky knows that she wants the belt to stay with the brand. She knows that the winner of this match has a lot going on. Becky Lynch, though, with a big slam. Io Sky goes for the pin, but unable to get it. Now Becky Lynch and Io Sky going back at it as Tiffany Stratton rolls out for a break. Using the ropes there, but Charlotte Flair breaking it up. This match has been absolutely non-stop. And there we go. Manhandle slam on Charlotte Flair. Can Becky Lynch send Charlotte Flair out? No, she can't because Io Sky saves her again. What is going on? Io Sky running the ropes. Becky Lynch misses by a mile. 
sends Becky Lynch to the ropes again. Low drop kick. Tiffany Stratton back in. Looking for a submission on Tiffany Stratton. Is this going to be the end? No, it's not, because Becky Lynch is up. The man breaks it up once again. Io Sky and the man now going up against it. Big spine buster. Looking for the cover here. It can Io Sky get the win here. Oh! Oh! New champion! What a match! What a match! And exciting, because we knew that Charlotte Flair would leave if she walked with that belt. What a match. That's one of the best matches we've had, just, cause of the, just because of the setup of it all, man. You know? Even though it was just a normal match, that was great. EO Sky, new champion. Four-star match. E off. Rivalry complete, Lynch and Stratton. So I assume that means that uh, the rivalry isn't complete between Flair and uh, Io Sky then. Interesting. Maybe Oni can pay off one in a pay-per-view. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we, we will sort of have a look into that just so we know how it works. Oh, yes. Both rivalries are complete. Four-star match. Okay, cool. Um, great. Let's simulate all of these. Let's remember to go and have a look at them, though, because I know it is a pay-per-view, and I know you guys do like to look at the results at the end and see how they all did. Okay, um, not best, Chelsea Green and her name, I can't remember who her name is, obviously didn't do the best, but there we go. Um, Smackdown, four-star main event, everyone else's main event was better. Nah, it wasn't, mate, I saw that main event, it wasn't better. People's opener was generally as good or better. Uh, this match, we did three stars. This match was great, so we had a really good, solid uh, middle of the match in, in line with uh, WCW, but then WCW owned us during that submission match. Um, that could be the thing that ends up costing us the most, I think, right there. Um, and we can see what that match was. It was uh, Valhalla versus whoever that is. <laughs> uh, cool. Main event, so you can see all the results and uh, keep up if you want to keep up. Uh, oh, tag match main event. Bianca Bella and Nikita Lyons going up against Kaylee Ray and whoever that is. JC Jane, that might be. Um, cool. Here we go. Uh, 132 fans. Great. Fan retention rate was really good on that one. A total profit of three and a half thousand. Okay. 5,000 in the crowd, 25,000 uh, ticket sales payout. I don't feel like that was the boost I expected, but that's okay. Uh, Total Fan seems to be where it's better at with good, decent television ad rate. So we have a 0 0.035 television ad rate. 0 0.035. Okay. Let's see what happens here when we go on to here. We made a lot of fans. 0 0.035. But they made a lot more with the... They, they, they've had the, the same crowd as well. They've making miles more money than us. I'm going to have to go back and look at all these, like, properly. Find out what we're missing. I mean, they didn't have half the crowd that we had. Uh, 142,000 fans, 115,000 fans. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Immediately gained 10 talent scout points. Nice. Nice. That's good for when we're trying to when we when we've got a bit of money and looking for someone uh, unusable on superstars with less than sixty po popularity, fifteen percent popularity after the next match. That's a really good card, really easy card. Sonya Deville. We're still behind, but we are creeping closer and closer to NXT. We're twenty twenty five thousand away from NXT right there. However, breaking away is Paul Heyman, who has been in a fight with Eric Bischoff at the top ECW and D WCW going up against each other. Nearly 100,000 more than us. I do feel like we've clawed it back a bit, though, in this one. Our budget is much less than everyone else's as well. Hmm. What mistakes were made? Here we go. It's time for trading. Um, who do I want? Who do I want? What have I got? I mean, I don't mind losing Chelsea Green, I'll be honest. Like, not doing anything in the company for us constantly uh, sort of not been used in the right way, man. I just can't, I can't seem to do anything with her. So who do I want for Chelsea Green? I mean, I'd, I'd quite like Dakota Kai. A, a thing at ambulance matches. Let's just have a quick look again at our 
So we want face fighters and heal bruisers. I need to write this down somewhere. It's face fighters and heal bruisers. I mean Valhalla. Could have Valhalla. Um, sorry, just thinking. Popularity seven seven, stamina is not great. Does it really help us though, man? I'd love to have someone like Dakota Kai. She was really good last time on our last season. Uh, okay, let's have a look who else we've got. We've got EC Dub, who don't necessarily want to chat start with us. Uh, injured for five weeks, Liv Morgan. I wonder if that'd get a price down. I think her value is probably less because of that, but she's 75. Is it mad? Is that a mad is that a mad thing to do? Say let's do that and give me five grand. Just give me five grand. Let's propose it, eh? Let's see what Paul Heyman says. Is, is he gonna give me someone? No, no he's not. Trade decline. Yeah, right, as if I'm going to sign my name to that trade. So her trade value is more because she's injured. Let's give it to the cash in, okay? Uh, propose a trade. Okay, let's see if we can get Liv Morgan. Just based on the fact that her popularity is, uh, you're beginning to frustrate me, stop wasting my time here, or we are done. Okay, let's let's sweeten the pot. Uh, 20k. So that's 162,000 value for someone that's injured. This is a silly trade. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? <sighs> I can't get her. JC Jane. Uh, Alba Fire. Heel Fighter. Definitely do something with Alba Fire. Got Isla Dawn in. Currently in a feud with her. It's a decent trade, though. Hmm. Uh, 40, 50k? 50k with her and we'll throw in we'll throw in Christina maybe even though she's in a thing with Tegan Knox. Could throw in Beth Spartan based on the fact that she's no, let's throw in Christina and let's take away that let's see what you say Oh, I've ended trading. Oh, well, um, you want to give me Wendy Chu for Blair Davenport. Her stamina is great. Blair's isn't. She's a specialist. She's a face fighter. Her, she's got miles more popularity. She wants 10,000 from me. I feel like that's a yes, guys. I don't even know who this Wendy Chu is. But I feel like that's a yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Accepted our first trade. We've got Wendy Chu. Choo choo. Come in, you get Chew. <laughs> uh, look, this has got to stop. I'm serious and happy. Ah, oh, mate, of course you are. All you ever do is waste my time. Whatever. Uh, I had an email about an ad agency in the area. How do you feel about giving them a chance? They're currently charging 10k. For a three-week ad campaign, it has the potential to gain us some new fans. But since they're new, there's always potential to lose them as well. Um, let's get it in the books. Let's give it a go. Let's give them a go. It's only 10k. Uh, exit and continue to book in. Let's see the superstar shake up. Um, instant spa day. Select a superstar with less than 50 stamina. Their stamina is increased to 75. That's really good. Commissioner, generous commissioner, whenever you complete a commissioner go you have a chance of earning an extra power card. That's for five shows. That's not bad. So from a double the popularity increase for stars with less than 40 stamina. That's really cool. Um, but also, I feel like we're struggling to get enough people on the cards at the minute. So I feel like it's one of these two. Uh, do we go for the quick stamina hit or do we go for this? I kind of feel like this is, is pretty good. We might get some nice cards that help us up. I mean... A health spa, that means that you've got a chance of getting like two health spa cards um, just off Commissioner Goal, which we, we are kind of conscious of. So let's do that. Have at least one TLC match this week. We're not doing them. Uh, we might do that. But do you know when we're going to find out if we do that? We're going to find out if we do that in the next episode. Guys, it's been awesome. Thank you so much for um, joining in with this and passing it around and all that sort of stuff. I really appreciate it. 
I look forward to the next. I got a lot of tattoos done yesterday. Yeah, man. Ouch. Uh, second skin on. Um, thank you so much for joining us. I will see you in the next episode, which will be tomorrow. I'm sorry this episode was out a little bit later than expected. I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Blackheart, and welcome to Gimme a Whole Yeah! I hope everyone checking this out in Yorkshire and beyond is having a great day. Oh, oh, oh!